watching 8 News Now at 6. Well, the Knights are on the road in Arizona tonight. Yeah, and whenever the Knights play on the road, there's a growing movement right here in the Valley that takes place really at a number of locations. <laughs> and Ron Futrell is here now with Striking Gold to tell us about this movement. Here we, go. here we go, Denise O'Brien. I've not seen a movement like this for, for 30 years here in the Valley, since the glory days of Rebel basketball, you could say. Local fans hanging out at their favorite bars and restaurants to watch, imagine this, to watch sports on TV. If you want to watch a Knights game and become a Knights fan, this is the place to be. Okay, I know this is not a big deal for out-of-towners who often go to bars to watch their favorite NFL teams, but it's been a while since we've seen this type of atmosphere here in Las Vegas. On game nights, local bars light up. It is fantastic. We are alive and crazy. We love the Golden Knights. If anybody that loves hockey is allowed in this bar. You know, we are, are definitely Golden Knights fans in here, but uh, if you love hockey, you're still allowed in here. Oh, TV camera. I love TV. <laughs> anyway, on this night, the legendary radio king Ken Johnson was at Chicago's doing a remote for 97 won the point. And the fans, they came from everywhere. You got a St. Louis Blues fan and one from Canada, both now living in Las Vegas. The bar is all, always packed for Knights games, and that's the same in Canada. You got to go an hour or two early just to get a seat, and it's amazing. I feel like I'm back home. Born and raised in St. Louis. Love it. They finally did it. But the Knights have proved themselves, and uh, they're on the track. You'll definitely be overwhelmed the first time you come because everybody is so into it, and we all uh, are cheering, screaming loud. But uh, we're all a good group of people and we always have fun. I've convinced someone from Fresno to be a Knights fan and not a Sharks fan. It has brought business and love and excitement to this city, this town, and our establishment. Okay, hard to judge how much money is made by local bars on game nights. It's safe to say they're pretty happy about the night's success right now. We'll just say tons. We'll use that. They, they make tons of money on game night, but they're happy for what it's done for their bottom line. Hey, good sign here. For the Knights was Cody Eakin on the ice working out yesterday. He's wearing that blue jersey. That means no contact. Looks like he could be back as soon as Saturday, perhaps. Mm. Also tonight, Marc-Andre Fleury taking the night off. Malcolm Subban will be in the Nets okay. for the Knights down in Arizona. Knights return home Saturday, by the way. They get Saturday game. Uh, and the local bars will be happy about that. Oh, what did yeah. we do before the Golden Knights? <laughs> what did the bars have on? Was, like, you know, yes. a random college football game or something. Yeah. Uh, or something like that. I do want to mention Brad. You saw Brad yeah. in there throwing the ice up in the air. Uh, icing. We call icing on him. I think, yeah. you know, whenever that happens. He went a little heavy with the cubes. Oh. On he was going there with the cubes. Yeah. That's icing, isn't it? Sort of. <laughs> That's a hockey His term. name was Brad Dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's quite a Cute. name. Thanks, Ron.